hello friends welcome back to my channel so I would like to thank you for your great support which you guys has given so keep uh, continue supporting me and I'm grateful for that so today uh, we are going to see another tutorial on uh, kubernetes so if you have seen my uh, previous tutorial we have seen how to set up uh, kubernetes in minikube right and we also spoke about the architecture deployment services and ports in kubernetes so what we have not done is we have not set up a cluster setup right with the master and worker node so since we need uh, more resources so we need to use some cloud or if you have a pc which have more uh, cpus and you know memory you can do that uh, so what we have seen is we, there is an easy way to do this and uh, that is only for learning purpose okay because uh, it's not a permanent setup so what we are going to see is how to make use of a tool called uh, play with kubernetes okay so if you have seen my previous tutorials i also spoke about docker uh, in that i have shown you how to make use of play with uh, docker so it's the similar kind of setup where we can create nodes and we can add those nodes as a master and worker and uh, you can use it for a short period of time and uh, by that time it will get automatically deleted right so before i get into that how to do it uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel i would uh, request you to subscribe like this video share and comment okay to start uh, you know if you don't know how to find uh, play with kubernetes just search in uh, google play with kubernetes and you will be able to see this link so it's called labs.playwithkh.com so you can click on it so you will uh, be taken into this screen where you need to log in so you can log in with two things one is github and docker so if you have any of these uh, login credential you can use that since i already have a docker hub login i'm going to use docker okay so this uh, user id and password will be the password for dockerhub.com okay hub.docker.com so you can use the same user id and password here uh, you can click on start okay so we are now taken into the this screen so if you have seen this is almost similar to the uh, play with docker okay so it's uh, almost similar sessions where you can create new instance you can uh, add a new instance uh, you know i think you can create uh, five instance and each instance will be running for four hours so after that it will get automatically deleted so this is not a production setup or where you can use it for long term so for but for your learning purpose definitely this is a, a good way to start okay so let's create some uh, instance okay so let me create uh, two instance one can be acted as a master node and another one can be acted as a worker node okay so once you create if you see it gives you some ip address what is memory usage and some details right so it also gives some documentation how to uh, do this setup so it's uh, pretty simple to do this okay you just need uh, three commands to run okay two on the master and uh, one on the uh, worker node so then you will have a cluster setup okay so let's start uh, uh, this uh, node one as the master okay so initialize to uh, initialize cluster node you need to run this command so you just now copy this command okay just uh, scroll to your cursor and you just need to paste that command okay So don't worry about this uh, VFS error okay so it's not a problem so let's wait for uh, this configuration to be completed it's not going to take much time it may take probably one minute or two minutes depending you know how much time it's needed to configure this as far as I seen it takes less than two to three minutes to complete this configuration you can see this icon has been changed and it's uh, getting uh, configured okay. okay great so if you can see uh, the first command has been completed and it has given you a link or command where it says kubarium join and uh, the token number right 
so this is needed for your uh, adding the other node as a worker node so you need to copy this and keep it in somewhere okay so let me copy this and uh, keep it in a work uh, notepad okay so let me copy this and uh, let me put it in the notepad okay so we'll use this uh, for uh, adding the node 2 as a worker okay so before that we need to do one more step so if you see the step 2 is to initialize the cluster networking okay so we need to use this command as well so let's copy this command and uh, go back again to the cursor okay, and just paste this command okay now if you've seen uh, it's, it has created some router right okay so now all oh, the commands on the master node is completed so if you see we have run uh, the number one initializing cluster master node and the number two is initialized cluster networking so these two are completed now let's go to the uh, node 2 so here also you can see these commands are there but since we don't need this to be run as a uh, master we are not going to run that okay so let me go back to the uh, token command which uh, is needed to add this worker as a, as this node as a worker okay so let's just run this and let's wait for this to be completed okay now if you have seen uh, this also completed in very uh, few seconds so you can say is that this node has been joined as the cluster right so this also has been done Okay, now let's go back to the master node and let's clear out the screen. Okay, and what we know, if you have seen my previous tutorial, we have spoke about some basic command, right? So let's see those information. Okay, kubectl cluster info. You can see uh, this is the cluster info. It's a master is running and the DNS, right? And now we go to kubectl get nodes. You can see there are two nodes now the node one is a master and uh, node two is uh, which is a worker okay so this setup we have not seen so far right so in minikube we have only one node which has as a master and it's also as a worker because uh, it's a environment where we don't have multiple uh, nodes so it's just a uh, you know a one node setup in minikube okay so now let's see is there are uh, some ports or deployment running okay so kubectl get ports so there are no ports right kubectl get deployments and there are no deployments kubectl get services so there is one service which is the kubernetes uh, cluster ip okay so kubernetes service and uh, with cluster IP is 110.96.0.1 this is a default one okay so let's clear out this screen and let's try to create a deployment and let's create a service okay so if you have seen my previous tutorial on deployment I have created a de deployment with uh, nginx right so let, I'm just going to use the same one kubectl create deployment okay and I'm going to use the image Okay, before the image I need to give a name which is uh, going to be nginx and it's going to be image equal to nginx so now we see that uh, deployment is created so if I go to kubectl get deployments you can see there is uh, one deployment is getting created so it's now it's uh, shows zero of one okay so let me run it again you can see it's one slash one right so that means it's available now okay now if i go to kubectl get ports you can see there is one port as well running right so when you create a deployment it's create a port right? so we are not creating ports separately in this tutorial there is a way you can do that as well okay but if you see kubectl get svc or services we don't have a you know another uh, service running for this nginx uh, deployment which is accessible from outside right so what we need to do is we need to expose this dis deployment so what i'm going to do is kubectl expose deployment 
the name is nginx and the type equal to it's going to be node port and the port is going to be port 80 okay so that's how we can expose uh, this deployment Okay, I think there is a typo here or there, so it's, it's going to be deployment. Okay, so we have put in here, so let's put it here. Okay, so now we can see the service NGNX is exposed, right? So we, let's try kubectl get SVC. Now we can see uh, there is uh, another deploy uh, service called NGNX which is a type node port right and it's accessible actually in 30270 that's the port number 80 is mapped to 30270 right so i'm going to use this ip address 192.168.0.33 okay and uh, i'm going to curl that command curl okay and it's going to be the port 302 Seven zero. Now we can see uh, we are uh, able to access the NGNX web page. This is the default page for NGNX. Uh, if you see this page, the NGNX server is in successfully installed and working. So that means the NGNX is uh, running fine now. So I think this gives you a uh, basic understanding how to set up a cluster. Okay. So with uh, two nodes, if you want, you can add more nodes. CTL get nodes right so we have two nodes we can add more nodes if you want you can create one more instance so we have a node 3 right so let's go back and copy the same uh, join command and uh, let's come here let's paste this to the node 3 you can see this one also has joined as a to the cluster so if I run uh, the get nodes here you see there is a uh, two Two nodes, two node two and node three as well. Okay, so I think it's not ready yet. Now it's uh, ready, right? It was not ready previously. Now it's ready. So there are three nodes. One is for master and two for uh, worker node. So that is that simple to create a Kubernetes cluster in this uh, play with uh, Kubernetes uh, tool. So I hope you will make use of this to learn uh, Kubernetes uh, for your uh, learning purpose. So that's a pretty simple tutorial but i just wanted to show you this tool which is very useful one for uh, beginners okay and i hope uh, this inform tutorial is informative for you and i like to thank you for watching and i also request you to subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment